hello friends welcome back in this session so in this session we are going to understand the new devops project and the, this is completely project based on the microservice deployment on uh, elastic uh, compute cloud that's a ec2 instance with the uh, different component like uh, uh, auto scaling group uh, load balancing uh, this will be uh, also part of the simple live project why uh, just because of we are totally integrate this project with the uh, our live URL so we also deploy our container uh, our container docker container and will access through the live URL so let's try to understand uh, what tools we are going to use in this project so we are going to use in this project uh, Jenkins uh, Java so basically the microservice is based on the Java using gradle we are going to build the uh, this our project and uh, this will build uh, again into the docker based container which will be pushed to the docker uh, hub and will pick that uh, image from the docker hub uh, in terms of the aws we use the ec2 uh, load balancing route 53 a certificate manager for the uh, which we are taking the URL we create the, our own certificate so we will use deploy our uh, uh, application with the fully HTTPS and which comply with the HTTPS certificate also so basically we use Terraform here to create our infrastructure and uh, infrastructure will be created on the part of the AWS so we will use the different AWS uh, services here in this complete project so let's have a look how our application goes to deploy and uh, what's the look for our application so this is my application which deploy through the complete uh, our DevOps project you can see this is the URL for our application this is the deployed using the live URL you can find with the HTTPS here you can see and here in certificate portion you will find this connection is secure the certificate is completely valid so we are passing the valid certificate here using the AWS certificate manager certificates so this is the completely live project which taken from the live URL so we have taken uh, URL from the GoDaddy which we have purchased officially we have configured URL uh, with the host zone in our route 53 service uh, uh, in our uh, AWS service so this uh, application basically looks here how it works is it's a simple ping manager here we used to the do the ping let me just uh, show you how it works so I'm just pinging to yahoo.com this will ping to yahoo.com and it will just check that whether it's uh, reachable or not so this is the ui here it's basically given the success return and uh, basically it's a simple ping application where we uh, take uh, validating the service of the any server is reachable or not uh, using the ping command so this uh, application uh, is deployed through the uh, uh, Terraform which which created the, the resource using the Terraform script uh, application is created using the Java java based microservice so let's have a look how we have created application and what kind of resource we have used so tools and application side what resource we have used we have used the java based application gradle for the compilation project docker compose for the making our docker build and docker run on the ec2 ec2 instance uh, terraform basically used for the creating the complete infrastructure on the aws uh, aws side we have used the ec2 instance auto scaling group load balancing amazon certificate manager and route 53 service so this all resource we have used in our uh, basically this project this is a ping uh, a simple ping manager application uh, which we have shown the live so now let's look how our application is deployed in AWS so let me go through the AWS side so this is the AWS uh, EC2 instance I'm uh, taking here you uh, so here we find the instance running here uh, let's uh, so there is two instances running so one is our Jenkins service is running and second is our uh, application that's a simple ping manager application is running and in this particular instance our uh, uh, docker is running where uh, the simple ping manager is running as part of docker so let's connect this uh, public IP for this instance where our docker service is running uh, so this instance SSH I have taken uh, you can find the uh, 
uh, our docker compose over here so this docker compose is deployed here and using docker ps command you will find our single simple ping manager is running here so this service which we have access through uh, web page and uh, the same which access here so uh, this is the basically backend for our ec2 instance where our service is deployed so apart from the ec2 instance we have deployed the auto scaling group let me show you auto scaling group here so this auto scaling group configure here so we have passed the one desired capacity, one minimum capacity and maximum capacity is five. Uh, we can configure the minimum capacity also, but at, as per this demo, I have taken the one, uh, but we can improve uh, that we'll see in our code base, how, where to configure the desired capacity, where to configure minimum capacity and where to configure maximum capacity. Uh, in load balancing, we have configured the target group. Uh, in target group, we have configured the different parameters like uh, uh, the health check parameter, timeout check parameters, the threshold. Uh, this is the target group as our instance is added here and it's healthy. So basically, we are checking health using the root path. Root path. So it's checking with the specific inter interval. That's the timeout is two minute, interval is five. So this is the load balancer. Let me uh, move to the load balancer. So this load balancer is configured here. In load balancer, you configure the listener. So there's a two listener is configured. You can see there's a 443. Basically, we use the 443 listener here. And here, let me just uh, view this listener. So here, this listener uh, basically use the certificate. So this uh, same certificate we created in Amazon uh, Certificate Manager. You can see the configuration is here. Let me redirect to ACM. So this Elastic, uh, sorry, Amazon Certificate Manager created a certificate here and this certificate which we created as part of our infrastructure and then it's assigned to our uh, load balancer url so basically this will assign to a url then it will be validated as a, a valid certificate so let's again come back from the listener part okay so this is the auto scaling and uh, load balancing configuration here uh, the next is configure the security groups basically it's uh, passing the uh, permission to to the uh, who is accessing this uh, basically uh, service so we have configured the uh, port 80 and other port and given the specific uh, IP also based on our need and uh, next uh, we have create the launch template so this will be created the launch template as we'll we want to deploy the multiple uh, instance using the same launch template configuration uh, the next one is the route 53 service let's go to the route 53 service uh, this basically we uh, uh, configure for the, our uh, domain live domain uh, we have domain uh, one hosted zone here so this is my hosted zone and this records basically uh, this c name records are creating using the our uh, part of infrastructure where we use this C name. Uh, you can see this is the same uh, C name which we are accessing here. So it's learn dot uh, AWS AWS dot in. So this is the same C name basically we are using here. So this uh, C name record will be created uh, once our Elastic Load Balancer is configured, and we will use the same uh, records for creating the uh, Route 53 C name records. So this complete infrastructure created in AWS. Now let's move further. So now let's move to the Jenkins part where we are running our uh, pipeline project. So here I'm running my pipeline project. So it's simply it's DevOps uh, pipeline created here. Uh, let me show how I configure this pipeline. So this is very simple pipeline, but uh, you can find the lots of uh, configuration as this pipeline implicit. So here we are simply uh, cloning our uh, 
repos you can find the same repo for your reference also we are running the command make build which will build our completely project uh, along along with our uh, docker image which, which is pushed to the docker uh, hub repository and we will pick that uh, docker image to uh, deploy in our ec2 so this will push to the docker hub let me show you so this is a simple ping manager uh, which is pushed to uh, my account here so this is our docker hub account where we pushing the image and the same image we are picking for the deployment in our ec2 uh, instance so docker make part will be uh, taking care of the creation of the uh, java build project and pushing the uh, image to repository specific and make uh, plan will validate our plan and at last we uh, apply the make deploy so make deploy will uh, deploy our infrastructure as uh, infrastructure complete deploy the infrastructure into the aws so you can see the pipeline here let me show you the pipeline here so in pipeline it's do the checkout first then the, it will run the build so we uh, creating the infrastructure as part of the compilation of the java application and build the docker image and it will push to the uh, docker hub uh, plan will uh, populate the plan uh, where it will uh, check the what's configuration are going to change uh, in terms of the state mapping with the AWS side so it will create completely configuration here you can see this is a plan information what uh, resources are going to create and what resources are not and what resource can be uh, updated here you can see that's a change part also approval will be used for the uh, basically uh, we take the approval for the creating the infrastructure and uh, at last we take the apply for the configuration infrastructure so it will take the completely plan related change uh, so whatever uh, it's populate for the plan it will create the infrastructure in aws so this all resource will be created aws so what are this resource these are the same which we have uh, discussed in the aws console part so it's you can see the acm certificate part uh, auto scaling load balancing uh, this is security group auto scaling group launch template this is user data this is a load balancing target group it's ec2 inst uh, ec2 security group and this resource will be created which already resource is there that's why it's saying that two resource only add and six is changed no resource is going to destroy so this will be created and uh, you can which deployed at last it will populate the url at the host name you can see this is the host name which we are which we use here as a ping manager so this is our host name here so let's now move to the con uh, the code part how to access our code uh, that you can directly find the same repository from the github uh, we will populate the uh, repository url in the same uh, video link so we will go through the code part in a detail here before that code part i want to tell you uh, we will we basically which we are using a uh, amazon ami where the predefined tools already installed so for that we are creating the ami part and uh, uh, let me show you the uh, jenkins pipeline for the ami so this pipeline basically used for the creating the ami on the uh, amazon side we will have the different uh, tutorial for the how to create ami in a aws for the predefined configuration so you can view that uh, uh, tutorial later but i just want to highlight we are using the a predefined ami just for a uh, predefined configuration because we need the docker compose we need the packers we, we need the uh, gradle so all tools are predefined that's why we need the predefined ami now let's move for the con code part so here basically two parties configure one is the java application and second is the terraform part so let's start with the java application here 
so there are two part one is a gradual configuration and second is the source part configuration so the gradual configuration will basically pass the gradle uh, wrapper properties you can find that this gradle wrapper properties here in the gradle welcome back in this session so let's continue with the same project where we are going to understand the code part so till now what we have seen we have seen how our project has been deployed in uh, aws side what kind of tool we have used the what is the basic configuration which we have used in the jenkins part and uh, the at last we also see the how uh, the basically configuration done is internally as part of the elastic uh, load balancing ec2 instance load well uh, uh, um, ec2 instance uh, elastic uh, certificate manager and route 53 so here let's uh, we will going to understand the code base so in code base basically we started with the uh, two part this one part is the java part and second part is the terraform part so how this is uh, deployed so here uh, i'm just showing here the gradle wrapper configuration uh, in source part you will find the java configuration here and this is the source which we have taken here you can see this my resources taken here and this is my model are deployed so ping analytical request is taken here uh, ping analytical response is also taken here the logic ping manager is written here the how ping manager is works so we use to the ping with the different url and it we give the uh, it takes the resp uh, request from us and uh, provide the response to us uh, from that particular server so this is the completely java based part uh, let me just rethink here and uh, here you will find the gradle uh, settings and build or gradle properties here and this build it gradle property will be used for the build our uh, java application here you can see it will takes the java version 11 uh, gradle version 6.1 and other dependency for the building our uh, projects and what is required so docker compose it's required so docker compose is used for uh, making our simple ping manager application uh, it takes from the repository but before that how it's get a push to the uh, that particular repository that let's see uh, that will be pushed to the make file and in make file basically it push using the publish command and docker push will be pushed with the latest tag and this we are uh, making the tag and at last we will pushing with the our uh, repository so this will basically push in the uh, our repository created in the hub uh, docker hub with the name simple ping manager so this is the different command which used for the uh, deployment of our projects so in it will be used the terraform in it uh, validate will take the terraform validate uh, plan will basically check the plan and at last we'll use the deploy for deploying our configuration destroy will be uh, destroying our infrastructure which we have created using the terraform so let's go to the terraform part so Terraform part, we it's a big part. Uh, we will go through the each. So Terraform basically use the different configuration where uh, initially we use the service.tf module. So this service.tf module will be created uh, taking the service docker compose file. You can see it's created here under the config file. And this service.docker compose file will be used to deploy our actual uh, uh, docker container in EC2 instance. Uh, this is the policy part and the service docker component basically use the service module terraform ec2 service module to deploy uh, in a ec2 instance which this uh, uh, is a parameter to call the service module so let me show you the service module from the git side So this service module uh, basically takes the configuration which we have passed as an argument and it takes using the cloud init config file which basically we pass is a docker file uh, as a docker render and it install using the init.sh and while configuration it will do simple docker compose up. 
So you can use this file, uh, this configuration code base for your uh, repository. Uh, other, other parameter is creating the auto scaling group. Then EC2 instance, I am configuration. So here is the profile, I am role, I am policy and the policy is attachment to the instance. Uh, at the main.tf, it's create the uh, prefix and this variable we are passing to the creating the other, the other uh, resources here. In EC2 instance, you can see we creating the security group here. Uh, this is the variable tf dot file. This will basically pass the all variable files here, and this output dot tf it will response the output of your configuration. So let's again come back to our code. So basically, this will create the EC2 instance using uh, the Docker file which we have passed. This is a Docker Compose file, and it will simply run that Docker Compose file as a user data in specific EC2 uh, instance. Uh, apart from the EC2 service module, we are creating the service uh, security group, auto scaling policy here, and let's see here. This is the uh, ACM file. This certificate is created here. You can see uh, we are passing the DNS name here uh, as a host name. This is configuration in the local variable, uh, and uh, we are creating the AWS Route 53 record. And this two record once our uh, uh, configuration is done, that two record will be populated to the AWS host uh, that will be shown in the previous session. And this is part of our AWS uh, Route 53 configuration, which pick the uh, name which we have passed to the variable.tf file. So here variable.tf file, we passing the Route 53 zone. This is zone created. Uh, and in this particular zone, uh, there's a host name, we are creating the sub records. Uh, apart from the one is key part is the we have to pass the AMID which AMID we use here to uh, deploy uh, ECT instance. So this AMID will be using here and this AMI uh, basically configured with the predefined uh, tool install. We have created this AMI using the different project uh, that uh, we will talk the later. Uh, this is the different variable that's the owner, environment, git commit, tools and the service and the tag name. This is service variable. Here you can define the, how many service you want to define. So you, this is the port, how many instance, max instance you want to use, how many minimum instance you want to use. Uh, here configure one, but you can configure the multiple also. Uh, desire instance, how many instance you want to run at a time as a desire. And this instance check response code, if you want to change from the 200 to any other port, you can do that also. Uh, health check path, you can pass here our your own. Uh, here we have taken the root as a health check uh, path. Apart from the ACM, we use the uh, elastic load balancer, uh, that's the application load balancer. And here we have created the security group here. You can see that's uh, pass the rule as a 44380 port. Load balancing, we configure the elastic load balancer, application load balancer, passing the parameter for the load balancer. We have created the listener for a particular load balancer. So here we are passing listener and with this listener, we are passing the certificate. So this certificate file, which we have created as part of the ACM will be popular to the elastic load balancer, uh, uh, elastic load balancer listener. So this listener created the elastic HTTPS and this is the creator for the HTTP. The next is the data. Data will be basically used to identify the VPC subnets, default subnet and identify the route 53 zone. Main.tf uh, will configure the basically S3 configuration for the state management. We have created the S3 with this name and we have also created the DynamoDB with this name where the state and log both are the prevented here. This is a resource key pair which basically used for the configuring uh, key pair while uh, we basically this is required while we want to connect our resource. So resource in terms of the EC2 instance basically while we want to take the EC2 instance SSH you need the uh, private key to connect this instance. 
So this is the DNS record which we have created as part of the Route 53 record. You can see here. This is C name which created and here we are populating the DNS name, the elastic load balancer DNS name. Output part, uh, output part there is a two output, the one is a host name and second name is the DNS name which we are using for the accessing our application. So this is the completely uh, Terraform part which basically used for the uh, creating the AWS resource on which are required for the our project. At last how our project completely run that we'll see here. Uh, let me show the make file here. So make file you have to just run the make init, make validate, make plan, make deploy, make destroy and make clean. So let me show you how our project is configured and how our basically command is running here. So this DevOps project which we have configured here and uh, once our git is cloned here we are passing the command the make build which is building our uh, infrastructure using the Java application that's a microservice and post make build it will uh, we will use the make uh, plan. Yeah, so make plan basically used to the populating the plan and post that we using the make deploy. So simple, you can also same find with the uh, readme file. Let me show you the readme here. So you just see how to use it. It's really very simple. Just run the make build and make publish for the publishing our uh, Docker container. Then to apply, make apply and make destroy. If you want direct uh, Docker image from the Docker Hub, you can copy this command and directly you can run with your local system using the Docker run also. So you can use this uh, path also for your running the local system. Uh, let me again come back to the our over, overall project how we have defined. So overall we use the Route 53 as an accessing gateway which we have basically redirected to the Elastic Load Balancer. Elastic Load Balancer is uh, basically uh, defined with the auto scaling group under and auto scaling group uh, having the uh, multiple EC2 instance are deployed and each instance having the microservice deployed as a Docker container. So this is all about the project. Uh, you, if you have any question, if you have any specific requirement for the uh, any DevOps kind of project, you can ping us. How, if you need any specific uh, uh, help for this specific uh, uh, example to run in your uh, system, and if you face any issue, you can also drop a query to us in the same uh, comment section. Thank you.